Hey hey hey, my name is Paul Schlinks and welcome to Raising Angels Face Allegiance. I really did intend to record to record this much much earlier, but when you basically watch anime until 4 a.m. you don't wake up the hour you wanted to, you have less time and yeah. Well, at least I can still keep it up somehow to upload every day and that's 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 something I guess alright when I was walking myself it felt like it was just a normal walk through a slightly weird park now with a bunch of murderous animals and a frightened crew I'm struggling to keep the mood from turning dark along with the sunlight night is quickly approaching and we are going to end up walking off a cliff if we keep going like this Sergeant Griffin I think we need to make a, a camp I'm afraid you are correct. My night vision googles didn't fare too well in the escape. I can speak up. Now's not the time for time in nets. God damn it! I can see in the darkness. Congratulations. I give her thanks, my support. Yeah, years of playing games in the dark has strengthened my night vision as well, but the train is too treacherous to risk the game. My eyes can see. They aren't. Failing in close to a trembling area with a complete disregard of personal space. I thought your eyes didn't look at all. Those are implants. Yeah, yeah, my eyes were, um, they were. There is no need to disclose personal medical information to us. Privacy asks me, you don't have to tell us anything you don't want to say. Okay. They're really pretty. When the doctor showed me replacement hearts for my illness, all they showed me were there is terrible monstrosities. Wait, what? Replacement hearts? I know the damage to face in their nose had to be rough, but their placement to her heart is something serious enough that Soul should have intercepted. Maybe the medicine can fix it. All the more reasons to get back to the shuttle and get back to her. Thank you. She turns to me with an expectant look, one of hope that screams for my approval as well. She, 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 yeah, she's right. Absolutely beautiful. Helpful, jealous. Yeah. Eh, huh? N nothing. Oh, she said that your build was well. Hey, wait, how how did this appear? How did this appear? What? Okay, sorry. Uh, I can hear very really well, but you were quiet. I must have misheard it. No, nope. forgive me for interrupting, but I wish to get back to the matter at hand while we still have some light. Please do. Yeah, yeah, so she can see the dark, so that is one problem solved. May I give a recommendation, Major? Go for it! You don't need to ask me! Oh, I know how I managed to do that, I freaking used the gamepad. Ah, uh, it's actually possible to control it like that, okay, let's see. Yeah, it is! Holy crap, okay, that's nice. But, whatever, even if one of us can see, that does not mean it will be safe for the rest of us. There is too many possible dangers to take the risk, in my opinion. Do you think we should set up camp here? I think we could get a decent amount of cover from the elements. Okay, she just said about the camp. Damn it, Natalie, were you not listening? It is your call, Major, but I think that would be a wise idea. I don't think we should. Why not? We don't have much daylight left. They're coming back. They point in the direction we have been walking. Far off in the distance, I see the rustling plants as what appears to be a trio of our lovely friends seem to be charging back towards our position. If you can hold them back here, it will it will be suicide. I saw it look like a clearing not too far ahead that we could set up kill zone in. I turn Faye, whose tail hangs limp from exhaustion, and Arya, whose yellow eyes beamer with fear. Okay, we move up and prepare the event. I don't think we are going to be able to hold out all night, Sergeant. I've held out against the routines for over 20 years. Have faith! Well, we have her. <laughs> I will. Let's move out, double time. We're back running at the fastest pace. We can maintain in this rough terrain. I'm hoping stick roots vines and I'm pretty sure what was a small fizzy rodent. The sounds behind me are getting closer at much faster rain than last time. Could they really have just been playing with us last time and this is where they are going to finish the job? Ah, stop thinking about things and focus on surviving. I hold myself back to my feet, feeling what I pray is smooth and blood, blood dripping down my leg. It's only a little further. That was weird. 
throw my I throw myself out of that tree line for I know these are my final moments. These are my final moments. Death? Hello, are you there? I just thought my coming to terms with my life moment. You are free to commence with the cuts now. May I hit my head when I Maybe I hit my head when I dove, so I don't remember dying and now it's my spirit form. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, totally. I mean it doesn't, but it makes as much sense as why I'm still alive despite never hearing Sergeant Griffin's rifle firing. Rifle firing. Wait, I got it. This is like one of those horror moments. I'm going to turn around, see them right in front of me, scream and get mauled to death. Why is my life so stereotypical? Best get this over with. Where are we going? Because I landed a mood and what I am being forced to accept is my blood. If I said don't want to eat me anymore, do I just meet the first wild hygienic eaters? I feel like I should be a little offended, but then I remember that this situation means not suffering a violent agonizing death. Yet... Natalie, you are alright. So it seems. You're hurt. Let me see. Fay pours a little of our precious water on the spot, Lomani, that is covered in a red tainted mood. Looks like your cat eat your skin. How do you feel? It hurts a little, but I'm still running on more adrenaline and blood. I've got a couple of painkillers that will help, but first let's get it cleaned up and bandaged. Thanks, Faye, for taking care of me. You're always patching me up. It is the least I could do. She smiles and starts standing to move with what she was able to scrounge at her survival supplies. I wish those supplies would have included her heart and lung medication, but Beggar Scarby chooses her. Choose her? Okay. When we get back, I'm going to force Soul to let Hendrix take a look at all of us. We're Georgine or not? A doctor is a doctor at this point. What is this place? Some sort of old ruins, I guess. But he made it only made it out into space 500 years ago. This place feels ancient. It's one of the mysteries of the universe. Just like how there are some dreamers who claim to be nearly a million old. It makes no scientific sense. These ruins could also not even be a human in origin. The Chasari Empire extended far beyond human space and predated us by at least a millennium with no pieces of it. I wish Zuri was here. She could tell me if she has the same feeling as before. I feel it. You do? It's like the cold during the darkest night in the most for skin and draw. Like I've been abandoned and the shroud of feel is falling around me. Are you sure it isn't Mary's baby? I saw watching that weird horror flick with Kika a couple days ago. Maybe you're right. She doesn't seem to be convinced, and neither am I. It does seem a tad bit chiller than it was elsewhere in the jungle. Perhaps it is the waterfall that is cooling the air, but... This happened at the first sight, we visited pursuing the missing researchers. That weird storm blew, blew in out of nowhere, and all the virus born said they felt something strange. Now I'm at a similar sight with a similar signal coming from the area. Too many similarities to let it all go by the wayside. Then there are the cuts. They turned around the moment we entered the grounds of these ancient ruins. I died I suddenly remember they had an appointment with a groomer. Blooded and stranded mean little to a Saito. There is mystery that could threaten more than just our lives. If left unchecked, there is no way I can pass it up. We're running short on daylight and I'd love to do an investigation this side. Mom, is now really time for that? I've got a feeling that this place is related to what brought us down. It would be negligent to me of me to not do a scan of the area. Copy, Major, if it is alright with you, Miss Unica and I will start setting up camp while the captain tests the water to make sure it is safe for consumption. That sounds like a good plan. Then, can I go to bed? Of course, of course. I shall allow that. 
The sunlight doesn't last nearly long enough to do a proper study of this place. It's a shame since I don't find enough clues to conclusively link this site to the previous ones. Huh. Interesting. With only a datapad that can stare on for fear of frying it, I don't have the proper tools to document and record this place for future study. Like those old nature documentaries always said, I can only observe, not disturb. Part of me secretly admits that the reason I haven't found anything is that I didn't exactly specialize in this. I'm a special investigator, not an archaeologist. Finding a lost person within my field of study, telling you how old these bricks are, basically magic to me. I found some symbols carved into the stone path that kind of look like the ones that I saw on the rock in the picture recovered from the researcher's side. There's probably untold secrets here that would tell me what generated that signal that overloaded our electronics. It would be an open and closed case if I could translate it. But at no point in my studies did that languages of mysterious empires become an important subject to learn. I can tell you how to crank several codes of existing empires, but not the ancient ones. What I would give for Kika to be here right now. I don't even care that she glowed and rubbing how much we needed here, her. She'd be right and I can accept that in this case. Uh, it would also tell me that she's alive. I don't want to consider that my fellow gamer didn't make it out of the crash, but having her here would quell these lingering doubts. Kika is it here for? So it is up to me to start gathering up as much information as I can. I've got that new translator program on the ship that can get a workout when we make it back. I found more symbols engraved into several of the stone block stairs leading further up into the ruins. The carefully carved engravings that are either a very intricate set of drawings laying a story that I can't quite comprehend, decorations with a weird aesthetic, or in a language I can't hope to comprehend. Some of the carvings, perhaps it would be better to call them runes, do look almost identical to the ones that we discovered on the giant rock in that picture. <sighs> okay, I'd be. I bet my that datapad and all my safe files that this place is a Chazari temple, just like the two. Last two locations visited chasing after the researcher. There was a key to the universe at the last one. Now we are suffering from a similar effect, have a similar location that would match what the researcher discovered, and I can't find, find anything but vines and stone. I'm confident that the source of what generated the signal should be here. There has to be a small crystal and some sort of power source generating the energy needed to amplify the crystal pulse. It should be right here. The rock in the photo was human sized and there is not enough rubble here to hide something that large. The dirt shows signs of being disturbed with animal tracks, which might explain the old lack of complete overgrowth here. It's weird for that animals would be taking care of an old ruined temple. Animals also wouldn't pick up and move a giant rock. This place looks like someone destroyed it centuries ago, but parts of it survive and don't show the scars of abandonment or time. Could there still be caretakers of this site? My gut tells me that I need to find them. Perhaps they can give us food, water, shelter and, most importantly, for my very mind, information. And look. I've got a bad feeling about this place, but I can't place what. Miss Unica and Captain Mufalo are resting. If it's alright for you, I'm going to catch a few hours of sleep before training up with you. Do you think you can hold down the fort? I doubt my auto let me rest right now anyway. I'll yell for you if the wildcats come back. Uh, it's not them I were about, this place scared them away and I don't see a good reason for it. Do you think something else lives here? Perhaps a pirate hideout or smuggler den hidden away? I would be happy if they were, smugglers could be reasoned with, whatever made the trucks. Uh, I'm going to be sleeping light tonight. I hope you get some sleep and wake up in the morning. I might as well get to work on copying these runes down into my notebook. Hey, can I talk you with you for a moment? Hey, what are you doing awake? I had a nightmare and needed someone to help. I think Dream Natalie might be able to help with your nightmare more than I can. 
face mask at my chest, but it does little to clear up the haunting look in her eyes. Even after getting a few hours of sleep, she looks absolutely terrible. Oh, she does not. I motion to the stone wall that I've been sticking on. Taking my invitation, she hops up. For a moment, I worry that she's going to sit on her tail in her sleepy days, but she swings the way at the last moment. Her tail bursts against me, the hairs drawing goosebumps as they lightly touch my arm. How often do you have nightmares? Before the attack, I don't think I ever had a single one. My dreams were the best place to escape to when the world got rough. Her tail never had a dream with a big ogre soul roaring at you to give back his golden ragoose. Hey! It's a fair tale. You've never heard of it? I don't know many fair tales. Really? I thought you'd love stories of far off places. I do. You start better than curling up with a good book and losing myself in it. Then why don't you read any fair tales? Because we live in such an amazing galaxy. You go from planet to planet, never stopping, and you'd never see all the wonders in one million lifetimes. Do you know there is a tiny, tiny lizard that changes its wing colors to match the changing shades of the leaves? There's even a type of panda bear that is bright red. They're so cute. Oh, God, them! There's so much history we don't about, uh, don't know about as well. This temple is just one of a billion places in the galaxy with history for us to discover. I might not be able to be everywhere, but my books can take me to see all of those cute animals. It's like I have my own little adorable zoo. There are some cute ones in fiction as well. I know, but I want to work my way through the ones I might see someday on an expedition. I don't know exactly what they are called when I meet them. But this is what they trained you for in leadership school, Natalie. Prove to them you can support your herbs. You can rest easy, eh? I promise you that you'll get us all back home alive. <laughs> Not convinced at all. Her ears threw up ever so slightly and the painful car takes her away from the conversation for a moment. I believe you, Natalie. I know we'll make it back to the nearest spot, I wonder. Don't try love like that. Henry has more medicine than promise you that's all one there yell at you for losing the bag. Yeah. I'll be fine for a while longer. A little while longer. Nightmares about not being able to see the galaxy. Deathly ill without medication. I need to ask a question. It would be grossly irresponsible of me to let it just pass. But I'm worried about why my roommate is going to answer. Uh, what my roommate is going to answer. She's been everything I could have hoped for in a roommate. Faye never stays up late. Always wears her headphones when listening to her shows. Listen to me when I have problems. And keeps everything neat and tidy. If anything, I've been absolutely terrible to her in conversion. The fact she wants to associate with me and be a supportive friend warms my heart. I need to be there for her. I need to know! Faye, what did the doctors really say about your condition? It's not just a, a, a take the pills, drink more water and everything will be fine, is it? She didn't have none to answer, but another painful cough makes the truth. All them are obvious. We're friends, you know. I don't like hearing you say those sort of things. The doctors told me that they were amazed I had survived long enough to get to the hospital. They said, what? They, what didn't you say anything? It's taking all of my strength not to let the fear, anger and annoyance out of my ways. Damn it, Stan, your monstrous behavior and borderline treason really murdered an innocent woman. Fake has never done anything to hurt a fly. Hey, she'd rather sit there and study it than squash it. And we almost didn't get her back alive. We let her fall into a trap. If I had been finding so, maybe she wouldn't have fallen into that trap. Are you okay, Major? I yeah, I I'm fine. To answer a question, I wasn't able to answer questions. Talking hurt. But what about now? You're in bad shape. That this medication you are getting is able to completely cure that, right? Hey, I'm your friend. You can tell me something wrong. They told me that without a heart transplant replacing my right lung. I'll be lucky to live six months. The medication can help fight against the weakening of my heart and little nanobots in it help, but it's only prolonging my life. Then why are you here? Ah, my ears. I don't care now if I'm being loud. I don't care about waking the monsters of the What I care about is LP in front of me who just said the scariest thing possible. They make replacement hearts for humans. I'm sure they have something that will work for LP. Why are you here? Who approved you to return to duty with this sort of combination uh, of condition? Who in their darned mind would lead someone who is on death's door continue to serve? The doctor said the same thing. He told me that no commander of any ship or unit would sign the approval to keep me. Now I may be tired and delusional, but you are sitting before me. 
That means either Sons was unaware of your medical condition or he signed off on it. They know all these sort of things, but if he was willing to sit at your door to ensure Stan gave you what little care he could, I doubt he's unaware, correct? Yeah. I'm going to kill him. The second we get back to the universe, I'm going to strangle him. Why would who let him sign that form? Heh. I know that he has always got a problem with anyone who was in a human and has some reason for hanging you in particular, but this is an Albert form of murder. I beg him to sign it. Hey, you're smart. I lose my events on this, but you knew what not getting that treatment man. Do you want to die? No. Then why are here? Why am I worried that if I make you run the card, I'm going to be the murderer? You would understand. Try me, I don't think I could understand the current situation less. It's my heart, Nali. They want to take it out of me and replace it with a synthetic one. I heard that part. What's the problem? Nali, you don't know. The card, the heart is the core of your being. It would make me pay moonfall. What? You mean like your heart is your soul or something like that? All the people know that your heart is the most important piece of you. Your love, your hopes, your dreams. They love live there. If I let them take my heart and place it with a bunch of plastic and pumps, who will I be? I'm already starting to lose the light in my life. Every day I question if I'm still the people who kissed her father goodbye when she got on the shuttle to the academy. If they take what little of me is left in there, fame will follow will die even sooner. I want to die as me, Natalie. I have to say it. At the risk of sounding like soul, I have to correct her. Faye, but your heart is nothing more than a cluster of muscle. No different than your arms and legs when it comes to your soul. But I know what your father taught you. I understand that Lupin culture tells you that each part of the body has an impact on your personality. But you are more than that. You are a culmination of your experiences, faults, feelings, and all the other stuff that makes a person different than a machine. Even if you have a half fake heart, you won't be a fake Faye. Even with new parts on the inside, the same old sleepy Faye will still be here. But it is already happening. The poisons are corrupting me from the inside. That's life. Good or bad, that's life. You understand? Almost full over laughing in a huffy comment. Her ears flattened, her thin lips curled. You're acting like a pup. I'm not a pup! It's okay, I guess I've been acting like a pup as well. When I accepted this post, I was so excited. I was going to finally be recognized as the amazing woman I knew for certain I was. Oh my god, there she goes again. We could have powered the numerous home with my ego. You all were nothing more than pounds in my plans to make it to the top. I was just focused on what you call could do to get me there. That was your job for. My job should always be to help these around me. I thought myself better than those who came before me and the finest thing see, see silk. I didn't care about anything other than myself. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it is for Natalie still, but well. But as I started screwing up the research operation, I started to see the truth. I'm not a brilliant tactician, I'm just a normal person. I was wrong. This isn't the world, I always knew it to be. I'm not the woman I always thought I was. Ever since Zuri walked away, I've been wondering if the colors in the galaxy aren't dimming just a little bit. But if I keep trying to leave that line to keep those colors the same shape they always were, I'll lose them entirely and never see the true colors. The ones that might be more stunning and beautiful than I can comprehend. Faye, I can't run in fear that I might be wrong anymore, but more importantly, you can't run from your fear of changing, everyone changes. But if you can't accept that, your cards are going to fade long before you ever get to see what they are. Who am I more, Anthony? Your Faye is in these nights that we begin to learn just who Faye really is. Oh, you're hurting my head. Sorry. I want to see my father. If I can't see him, I can see just how much I've changed. And if I can learn to live being that new Faye. Well, we'll see him soon and I know he'll be proud of you. Eh, thanks for listening. And time, thanks for always being such a good roommate. I think I'd fall asleep now. Good night. Rest well. Who you are? Who I am? Hey, I really wish I knew the answer to that question. There's only one thing in the world I know for sure about myself right now. I know I'm the type of officer who is going to punch Saul in the face next time I see him for not having this conversation with you before now. What is he trying to do? She's obviously in great pain and you just turn away to let her keep deluding herself nothing has changed. We are going to have words about this. Up and at it, Major! It's time for the second shift swap! 
It's already second watch, and Sphere had just fallen asleep after she had taken over. I glanced at the watch on her wrist just to confirm that my hopes are not... It's not being completely and utterly groggy, are completely dashed. Anything interesting happen while I was out? Nothing but the wind spooking me. A threat of the wind? No, but there is something out there watching me. Do you think the cards came back? We, uh, were we so fortunate? I expect that whatever competed with the felines for the strategy and phone is observing us. It hasn't stuck for, so we may be fortunate enough to have run the first friendly creature on this planet. While we are being optimistic, it may as well be nothing more than the cold wind. May as well go full optimistic if we are going to let ourselves believe that there are no threats out there tonight. If something should exist, you will hear me screaming. Good. Are you sure you'll be fine, Major? Fully alert. How sorry as I'm going to be? Good night, Sergeant. And here I am, back in the saddle once more to defend the innocent people who are going to get a lot more sleep tonight than I am. When we get rescued, I'm going to spend the entire day snoozing away. You're awake, are you? I thought you went to bed already. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize for being awake. Having trouble sleeping? I don't sleep much anymore. It's been years since I've gotten a good night of sleep. If you ever want to learn how to sleep, we have a master of that right here on this expedition. The motion to the pile of leaves that hide the resting repeat. When she dug a hole the exact size for her curled up body and scrunched up a blanket of leaves to hide herself, I realized that I was a novice in the art of outdoor napping. But I'm glad she knows how to make herself comfortable. If anyone needs the rest, it is her. For someone who bears such pain, she always knows how to keep a smile on her face, doesn't she? Even though it seems hopeless, Faye keeps going. Yeah, she does know how to quit even when she really, really, really should be in hospital back on Earth. I wish I could be that strong. I wish I could be her. You mean you wish you could be like her? Are right, everything go right? Making her help but put a lot of things into perspective. She cares so much the ones she loves and just wants to make friends with as many cute animals as she can find. There's not a sliver of evil in her weak body. Not a single dark thought crosses her path. Because she wills it to be that way, poor Faye can find the strength to face the darkness and does everything she can to keep her vision bright, even at the cost of her health. It is not better to have leaves in light than despairing in shadow. She's like a twinkling star, shining bright as the darkness of the night consumes her. Is that not a more beautiful life than never shining at all? I've always dreamed of dancing among the stars so I could shine for even one in my life, so I could lose myself among their light even if it was for just a moment. It's why I became a pilot. Hey, okay. I, I worry about you. What sort of life have you lived that you would rather just have a moment of shining light than a lifetime of it? Natalie, what is that? Probably why the gods didn't follow us here. Sergeant Griffin, wait, wake up! Don't yell, you don't want to spook it. What is the problem? If I'm on it, the weird crystal monster slowly strides toward us with a swagger in its step. This is its turf, and it has an empty fear from the little creatures that have intruded. But its eyes are focused on mine. It's turning straight to my soul with an unblinking gaze. I see something in me it recognizes. Does think my blonde hair means I'm the most delicious? In the moonlight, it is hard to make out the colors, but I can faintly make out the midnight blue and glitter of its wings. If I didn't know any better, I would have sworn it was made out of those dark crystals. Uh, <laughs> can it feel the touch of that one on me? Does it think I killed its family? Because it gets the colder the ice block in the pit of my stomach becomes. It snakes up to pounce, run! <laughs> Stay quiet, I don't think it knows where we are. Quiet? My breathing is so wrong that I know it thinking a tree my radius can hear me. How can I be quiet at a time like this? Still, I'm feeling better than my compatriot. Full Faye looks just awful. Hungry, scratched up, fighting my pain, destroying her from the inside. Her normally wang tail was stone even before it showed up. The foliage is dense and the leaves are large. Casual observation would only see undisturbed nature. I kind of wonder if Faye ever used her talents and camouflage to hide during work. The only dangers from... Eh, sorry, the only dangers from the thing are from it smelling the blood and fear of or hearing us. I don't know if that thing has a nose. Uh, maybe 30 meters away. I hear the sound of it far larger than my own trampling over 
twigs and sticks and I think a lock if I guess the two loud crack correctly. I clutch the holdout pistol from my injection seat. The smooth grey console slips in my sweet hands, but I won't let go of the only thing that might stand between me and a two tone monster of death. Sorry, there's nothing I wouldn't give for her to be here right now. I wish I would have told her that. Maybe if I could. So telling the surgeon Griffin is a better choice. The narrow eyes and confidently held rifle are a lot more certain and sure than Suri's fears of not being a warrior. A clawed hand bigger than my torso brushes through across the way and I immediately read hoping Suri was here. I'd rather not have her ripped in half as well. Amber eyes can be seen in the shadows, but thankfully they don't seem to be focused on us. Whatever is lurking out there doesn't seem to have spotted us. Thank you, Darkness, for what little protection you lend. Tense moment after tense moment ticks. Tick by as it looks. Whatever along I still have holds out. After a few moments it means to pull back. Why have I started her mission? Sure, innocents might have died on this god for a second world, but I wouldn't be so close to joining them. The duties of a psycho with a weakness for adorable girls. She's not adorable. Achoo! He breaks out coughing violently. Okay, that was cough, okay. Each one racked with agony, for not only the agony that is soon going to be filling our shredded forms. Shit. Are you okay, Faye? I'm sorry. Tearing across the dragon field, bears down the monster, fang, calls, wings, dart against the night sky. I fire metal hanging in the biological tongue, but each laser should bounce off of the dark blue crystal wings. They don't even scuff the shine of a creature's shining body. Trigger discipline major, make your shots count! Sergeant Griffin takes a knee and starts taking shots. Unlike my wild blast, her bullets are striking through against the face of the beast. Too bad they are doing nothing to deter the monster. He's ignoring her. The beast has me and me alone in its sides. I was the one that summoned you over. Is it smiling at me? That's not what it is doing. Could this be some sentient monster out looking for a new trophy? It's my head to trigger the wall of its cave. I'm going to die. Not dying because of some stupid living crystal. Not crushing the numerous shuttle. Not a broken heart. Not I'm going to die horribly and badly from a faint griffin as I'm ripped to shreds. And the explosion slammed the beast aside, knocking its charge straight. I managed to fling myself out of the way as if it would have slumped into me. It hits a tree, throwing him in splinters, almost instantly it recovers. Its smile is gone, replaced by cold, calculating fury. Thankfully, it has eyes for any target. The fort didn't even stop it. Major, get the captain, get the hell out of here! Not without you! Eh, hey, I'll be fine, I've tangled with fools, fools before. As much as I love to argue, haste is what's going to save my life. It's almost daybreak anyway, Sergeant Griffin is strong, she can handle herself for what little night remains. Please, son, we need you now, more than ever to drive whatever this thing is away. I grab Faye's hand and pull her to her feet. Her hand is cold but wet, I can barely see it in this line, but it looks like... Blood? Well, you don't really know if that thing is, like, only nice time appearing. Maybe it's actually... It's not sleeping at all, something like that. I don't know. Okay, she's coughing up blood. There's no way I can push her forward anymore. Without her medication, that a quadra texad on his back tearing apart her heart and lungs. Run! No! Go, Natalie! Why why did I ever save this mission, damn it? I have to assume that Sergeant Griffith has planned on how to handle this. She's the security officer and it would be wise of me to not hinder her work in such a dangerous situation. I uh, can't lie to myself, I'm fleeing with Faye and Daria, it Tau, Halaka, Complete and other covered. I should be back there commanding our defense and instead I'm leaving a super dead to fight. Yeah. The worst type of commander. But my well kind of. Pretty sure she's she's the type of commander that would not well that I could well, I kind of don't accept, so, like, in most of the places, right? So basically, not the one leading to fight, but the one that is standing behind all the time, and so on. So basically not doing anything, just giving commands. Alright, but my legs are carrying me far away from the sounds of gunfire and battle cries. Stay close to me! Okay! I release my hand and I can feel the sweat of fear and exhaustion coating it. You're just as terrified as I am. So I have to keep this lie up. I have to be strong and not show that this is anything more than a tactical withdrawal. I have to be strong for her, for Faye! 
For Fey more for Fey mostly. Even uh, yeah. 99% for Fey. Well let's say 50% for Fey. 50% for Griffin. 0% for the third person. Uh, kind of. Even if I have to be a coward, I have to be a brave coward. I can't think about sacrificing one member of my command to save two. I can't think about the blood I've coated in my hands this night. Please, so Zuri, will you help? Well, right. Oh, we still with the same people, okay. We run, even when we stumbled, one of the others would pull us back to our feet to keep running. Even when Faye started coughing up blood and Arya spo spilled their main gardener, we never stopped. What kind of dinner? Oh, yeah, we... we wait. We did not have the emergency packs. It's Kika that had because she was close to the freaking... Uh, to the freaking ship. What did they eat? Ah, uh, whatever. None of us wanted to think about what was happening behind us. Nobody wanted to think about the sacrifice we had to make. An evil part of my soul says at least it was someone I hadn't gotten to know very well. It is better to lose an old veteran than the sick old girl or the trembling trader who is opening herself up to me. No, 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 I don't agree with that. I want to be a leader, I want to have command of my own fleet one day, that means I need to be able to make sacrifices and send people out knowing I will never see them again. Okay, that's bullshit, for the greater good. But that's the same line of thinking as a monster. Am I a monster or leader? Who does what has to be done? Alright, Natalie, you are not a freaking leader at all. Uh, I see a fallen log and sit down on it. I don't know how far we've run or even the direction that we've went in this maddening darkness, but the sounds of fighting are gone. Are you okay? No, she's not! Why do you ask stupid questions? It takes me a moment to realize that the voice comes from the guy who's still clutching my hand for support. I mean, thanks to your quick thinking, Natalie. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. It was Griffin who said what to do. Faces down, leaders at me. I tell you, flopping into my lap. You saved me if you hadn't grabbed me, that creature would have made me into its dinner. Ah, cool. Me too, I don't think I taste very good raw as well. I'm kidding you, I'm leading you both down the path of food that will only result in more sacrifices. Yeah, pretty much. I've failed my mission. If I would have been able to understand those ruins, you might not have found anything about it, like Kika always used to tell me when we played Time Jokers 2 together. You can fail the mission while you still have lives to continue on with. And whose lives would you like me to play with the next time? Maybe I can make this a flawless run from here on out. Maybe someone else has to be sacrificed to escape. Whose life should I give up to continue this losing game? No, I can't keep all my myself thing like this. What sort of game and things that she's already taking away units when the mission hasn't even started yet? That's the spirit. I believe in you. I don't. <laughs> we can't be too far from the other crash side. If we move quickly, we might be able to get there fast enough to instant defense until the morning. Copy, Major. I will lead the way, Natalie. I can first smile on my face because I don't know exactly whose life will be used to save the day if it comes to the game. So these words still ring through to me, even if I don't hear them anymore. A warrior has to protect the innocent. Faye will see her dad once again. Arya will make it back home. And I must be prepared to be a warrior and put myself in harm's way to see my mission to its completion. I may be a warrior of the Monda era, but I will show to read that I understand what it means to be well sighted and a warrior. Uh, yeah, right. I kind of don't believe her words, but whatever. For now, let's end the episode here. And we will be on Nimerous in the next one. So for now, hope you enjoyed it and see you then. Bye bye.